look what I got. Another haul from Amazon and some other internet companies because I cannot stop spending money on my Jeep. So I got a few more goodies today. Let's go and check them out, see what I got and what we're going to be doing in this install today. Woo. First one here. I think you can read that. We all know what that one is. Little unboxing-ish. I don't really, really do unboxing videos, but I don't know. People seem to like them, so cool. Let's open it up, shall we? Ooh, a little card here. And yes, I got the S-Pod touch screen because, uh, well, that's just uh, what I like. I also got, let's see here. Let's, ooh, give you a bunch of cool stuff there. Little, little extras. Ooh, packing peanuts. These are, these are my favorite. Mmm. Mm. It doesn't taste like anything. Ooh, CMM, uh, one inch ball mount for the handle because that's what I'm going to put it on the lower uh, grab handle there. Put that there. So much stuff. And then, ah, uh, yes. The Bantamax S Pod. And this is the one specifically for the Jeep JL that actually has the mounting bracket already there. What else do we got here? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. And, and I went ahead and ordered the extra mount and a short ram ball mount for the, uh, the CMM stuff there. Okay. So I think that's everything there. Let's see what my next haul is here. I say that as if I don't know what it is. So yes, I'm going to be putting my A-pillar lights on this S-Pod, and then I couldn't help myself, I had to buy another rigid light, <sighs> bought a 10-inch SR series that will go underneath the uh, top of the pre-runner bumper there. So boom, that's what will also be controlled by that. So I got that bad boy, and then right here should be, ah yes, so this, wow those are Pretty damn beefy. I wasn't expecting that. That size. Okay. Well, anyways, these are from. These are just from Amazon. This is a one inch, one and a half inch, uh, tube mount for the uh, the light bar, so that way I can uh, attach it on there and have a uh, decently clean look. So we'll see how I like these. And they come with different uh, adjusters, so you can put different size uh, mounts on there. So we'll see how that works. But uh, let's go ahead and get started on this install, shall we? Just to show you where this is gonna go. The S-Pod controller is going to bolt in right here. I believe it uses, uh, I don't know, some of these mounts or whatever like that. I don't know, I'll figure it out. And if you look right now, I've got all my wiring here in the back and I've used these uh, cable clamps to, uh, to hold it down. Well, that one's not tight, of course. Um, but I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna reroute. This wire right here is actually going to these uh, S-Pods. They're actually going over there to the actual um, factory wiring harness for the uh, interior auxiliary lights but so i'm gonna have to take all that out and then just pull the light cables over here to get hooked in here and that is what i am going to do next As you can see here, I got the Bantamax S-Pod mounted in. I have the main positive and negative wire nice and tucked away. I might uh, kind of change that up a little bit. That little nub is bugging me. Just doesn't look, I don't know, professional, I guess. Uh, I have it running down through that main firewall down there. You can see the little, uh, little ring where it's going through right there. Uh, that seems to be what most people run it through the firewall. Got it. Some of the wires here I'll still have to clean up and connect. 
but I've got it pulled through on the inside here. Change that up. As you can see, I got got the uh, the Ethernet cable. I'm gonna route it up to here. Let's go. Okay, routing the cable through the firewall underneath the gap dash and in a nice fancy manner up into here is the biggest bitch you have to do on this install at least for me it is because the wiring has to be nice and neat when i do this i can't just have a rat's nest and it can't just be you know wrapped around everything it's got to be you know like it's got to like look factory if i can so i'm gonna have to wire the spool up in here and bring the monitor in here so that's the next thing to do All right, let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm running the wire up from the dash on through the side panel, through the handle on the back, out the front, right there. That way the wire is hidden, okay? I'm gonna replace the uh, speaker cover here. Nice tight fit, and you can see how it just comes out from right there. And then the mount is gonna sit right here. Now let me show you how the mount actually works here. All right, hopefully you can see this. This is the CCM mount that I ordered with the uh, the ball mount right here. This is actually just going to replace this component right here, the cover that would have been there. And I thought this was gonna be plastic. No, this is milled aluminum. That actually really surprised me. I was not expecting that. So let's go ahead and install this bad boy here. I'm just going to reuse one of these bolts. Okay. Give this a good snuggin. There we go. So that's in there. Put this cover back on. nice and tight sweet I'm still leaving this loose right here because I'm gonna need to pull this out once I get the uh, the mount on here and I do want to point out that this mount can go on top or bottom whichever one you prefer okay now let me go grab the actual head unit here so this is the S-Pod touchscreen. This is what's gonna go right here. And when it comes, it comes with this little flange nut on here. And there's the actual normal little bracket that comes with it. We're not using that. So I took the little flange nut off. I'm gonna put this adapter. You have to get this adapter either from, uh, was it the uh, RAM mounts? It's just a quarter by 20 or quarter by 24. The, the standard camera frame adapter there, okay? And you can get this from S-Pod as well. Screws on right there. Now I'm just going to hand tighten it on here. Um, if I do feel like I need to put a little Loctite on it, it never comes off, I doubt it, I can always come back and do that. So, it's going to go, the ram mount's going to go on here. Okay. It's also going to slip right over there. So, and this can be positioned in a bunch of different ways. You can either stick it out like that. Have it come down like this, which will kind of block the vent a little bit. But for right now, let's just put it right here until I get everything squared away and where I want it. So that wire goes right there. Now it's not pinched or anything. And then I'm just gonna use some, uh, some zip ties here and spool it up right down here. And then I think that will be That'll be it for, for the time being. I'll still go ahead and uh, I'm sure was it um, kind of clean this install up just a little bit more. Because everything's got to be nice and neat. But this will be good for now for at least testing it. Alright, so I have the A-pillar lights just kind of temporarily installed into switch 5 here. Everything's all hooked up. And check this out. 
boom it is on and working look at this a pillar lights click on click off you can even dim them up and down can't see it out there because it's daylight right now being dim the lights i can even strobe them which is pretty cool as long as i'm in off-road mode if i turn them into on-road then no 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 strobe for you but it's still a pretty cool thing so everything is set up and wired and i am pretty happy also have to kind of adjust this a little bit to my liking and uh hell i even have enough wire that if i really wanted to put it up here i could somewhere i don't know but i kind of like it right uh i kind of like it right there that's why i bought at cmm mount which is uh doing pretty awesome all right Whew. Next thing we have to do is go ahead and install the new rigid light up front to give me just a little bit more throw further out. moment of truth on the front rigid LED. I think that's uh I think it looks pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really loving these mounts, but uh I don't know. I'll check them out. I'll see I'll see how it works. They may grow on me. They just kind of seem a little lower on this side maybe. I don't know. It just looks a little weird. I might have to adjust it or whatnot but uh yeah I got the wires just temporarily ran in and hooked into switch switch one so let's uh go in the jeep here let's start this bad boy up and uh see if this works shall we all right so that's on i'll turn switch one on and it looks like i have power look at that looks like that is that actually is pretty damn clean it's not a uh, overbearing like this massive massive bar but yeah i gotta say i'm pretty happy with that still dimmable can i uh i'll still have to like set the bs see if i can turn that on strobe and still dim that too because just neat little features all right now let's get to work trying to just route the cables nice and clean. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna to wanna to do it back here. Might just be a little more, more temporary until I can uh, figure out a little something something here. So, but yeah, let's continue on. finish off by saying that this is not the final um, install and routing of the wires it's actually just getting a little late here and I don't want to be messing trying to mess out messing with this stuff in the dark I want to kind of get out and test it aim the light see how I like it whatnot um, tomorrow should be hopefully the weather will be good I'm gonna come back out here and actually rewire everything route it nice and neat with more zip ties, figure out a nice way to route it down here and whatnot. But I still wanted to show you what I've done so far. So the light is mounted right here. Got the zip ties coming through, up through the uh, inner fender well there. I'm just kind of not a happy about this being exposed here. I don't know, we'll see. But it comes up through here. I route it as best I can here best I can through here and then up into the uh, new Bantamax S pod and then I will also come back and change up and shorten up these wires clean up everything make it look a little bit nicer so close the hood here oh my fat ass can't reach boom lock it up 
boom. And then, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Not too bad. So now the rest, as soon as it gets uh, fully dark here, I'll go ahead and take it out and see how this light, this is just a 10 inch SR light, compares to the side throwers for the A pillars or as otherwise known as ditch lights. So I'm excited, keep following along. We'll wait until uh, that big ball of fusion goes underneath the horizon and we'll go take this thing out and see what it looks like. All right, got a little bit of light on here just so you can see my face. I am out here in the middle of, uh, well, not really nowhere, but out on a old town dirt road, let's just put it that way. And here, we're gonna go ahead and test the light. So, all right, cabin lights out, boom. All right, so I have the S pod set up right there. We're gonna go ahead, these are the A pillar lights that are on the outside that you guys have seen. And those work out pretty well, I do say so myself. Those off. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn the bumper light on, and this is uh, the front one that I just installed. Not bad. Little 10 inch light, and I think it adds just the perfect amount that just kinda goes down range and forward just to let me see what's going on. Then everything on. And then, uh, yeah, let's go out and see what it looks like, shall we? Do, 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 do. All right, so this is uh, kind of all lights on here. Oh, crap. Yeah, that, uh, that little center bar one is uh, it's pretty bright. Let's just put it that way. Mm. Do it. There we go. Now you can see a little bit more of it. There we go. It actually works out pretty well. At least just blocking one of them so you can kind of see here. Yeah. Not that, uh... Not that bad. I think it's got a good bit of light here. I kind of like that little 10 inch one. It just kind of fits in right there. It's not overbearing or anything like that. But, yeah. There we go. There you guys can at least kind of see a little bit there of it. So I'm pretty happy with this uh, this install here. That's pretty cool. And there's also some other cool features here. So the other thing that you can do is you can go to, if you're in the off-road mode, you probably can't see it right there. If you're in the off-road mode, mode, I can actually strobe these on the outside there. Bumper light, turn those off. Front bumper, strobe that, and I can actually dim it too, which is actually pretty cool. So dimming down, up, and then same thing with the A pillar lights over here. I can actually dim those down and up. And obviously they don't flicker in real life, but I can actually see that one coming, kind of coming in useful when you're out at camp. And like you're just kind of like lighting up the side, you can kind of tone it down a little bit for just a little bit more power. So. I'm pretty happy with these things. I don't know. Tell me in the description what you think. Should I get more lights? Is that good enough? I kind of think it's good enough for right now. So, but I'm going to go ahead and keep driving a little bit more, playing around with the new system here. I still need to get the Bluetooth system set up. So, but, uh, oh yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I think that my radio is kind of living up here right now. So, but yeah, let's, uh, kind of go for a drive here, shall we?